final leg. So we are back to talk about a couple performances from this weekend, from high quality performances from Mount Sac all the way to Tom Jones Invitational in Florida. But the one performance I really want to highlight today that I don't think is getting enough recognition is Nia Ali in the 100 meter hurdles. Now, Nia Ali ran 12.59 seconds in Florida at that Tom Jones Invitational. She didn't even win her race though, right? Jasmine Camacho Quinn ran 12.39 seconds for a world leading performance. Nia Ali was only second place. So why is her performance really the one that I'm talking about today? She wasn't even the world leader. She wasn't number two in the world. Her time is not number three in the world. It's actually equal number five in the world. But there's three specific reasons as to why we should all be on notice for this performance from Nia Ali. First off, this is Nia Ali's fastest season opener of her entire career. We have to go all the way back to 2013 when she ran 12.75 seconds, actually wind aided. After that, her fastest opener was 12.94 seconds legal also in 2013. So the fact that she's opening up with 12.59 seconds in April is a significant indicator of what she might be capable of doing, right? She also hasn't ever run this fast this early. She's never run under 12.6 seconds before the month of June. 2013 in June at the USA Championships was the last time that she's actually run 12.6 and the earliest time that she's actually run that. So this is really significant. Fastest season opener and this is the earliest that she's ever run this fast. All right, so all that combined is a first reason. Reason number two. She has almost taken a full two years off from the sport and came back with this extremely fast opener. Now, she is a 2019 world champion from Doha. She ran the indoor season in 2020, and then of course everything got shut down, so she didn't continue. Her last race on the track was July 2020. She ran a 150 race, right? We saw a lot of uh, athletes running 150s, 300s, right? A lot of races during the, the 2020 season. She also ran a 150 race in July. That was her last race that she's ever run until what she performed today. I do have to give a little caveat. In March of this year, she actually did run a wind aided time of 12.59 seconds over the hurdle. So regardless of how you cut it, right? 12.59 wind aided, 12.59 legal. Either way, she ran 12.59. But two years away from the sport, last race was in July of 2020. In May of 2021, she gave birth to her third child. So she took all that time off, gave birth to her child, of course took 2021 off, came back with this performance here. To be able to take two years off, come back with this high quality performance, the fastest opener you've ever had, again, really should be putting people on notice of what she might be capable of as the season progresses. That's reason number two. Finally, reason number three, like I noted, she is the reigning world champion. Won the world championship title in Doha 2019, beat out Kenny Harrison and Danielle Williams, who both were actually the favorites entering that meet. Remember, Danielle Williams had the world lead in 2019 of 12.34 seconds. She actually held that world lead because nobody ran faster um, than that performance throughout the entire year. Kenny Harrison and Danielle Williams had both beaten um, Nia Ali multiple times throughout the entire season, but they both lost when it actually counted. Nia Ali got that gold medal. What that does for her, it gives her the wild card to the world championships this year in 2022. She doesn't have to worry about the world championship trials, right? We know the USA trials are some of the toughest races to compete in, especially for the women's 100 meter hurdles, right? Kenny Harrison, Gabby Cunningham, Christina Clemens, Grace Stark, um, Tania Marshall, all these women are gonna be competing for three spots to get to the world championships. Guess what? Nia Ali doesn't have to worry about that. This performance starting off means that she can start off here and just progress for one date on the calendar in July of 2022, whenever the 100 meter hurdles start in Eugene. Doesn't have to worry about the trials and this is a great performance to really set her up and prepare her for those world championships. So three reasons. Number one, this is her fastest season opener in her entire career. Number two, she ran this fast season opener after two years away from the sport. And number three, she is the defending world champion. She does not have to worry about competing at the world championship trials. She just had to get to that one date, the world championships in Eugene and get rolling. Last thing I wanted to know is look at the trajectory of her career. 2014, she was the world indoor champion in the 60 meter hurdles. She gave birth to her first child in 2015, so of course she took that year off. She came back in 2016, 
made the Olympic team and won the silver medal at the Olympic Games in Rio. Then in 2018, she gave birth to her second child, then came back in 2019, managed to win that world championship title, finally took the two years off, gave birth in 2021 to her third child, and look at where she's starting off. Mia Ali is fighting against all odds, and she has been one of my favorite athletes to watch really over the past almost decade at this point, right? Since she's been in USC competing in the NCAA. She has been defying all odds. Of course, she's 33 years old now, but she is running like it does not matter. She is gunning to try and defend her world championship title, and I think she might have at least a really good shot to get on the podium. Of course, Jasmine Camacho Clinton is looking extremely good coming off the Olympic title, getting the world lead. She is hitting on all cylinders. But Nia Ali, like I said, is one to keep a lookout for. This performance is a great indicator of where she's going for the season. Go in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Nia Ali and this opening performance. Do you think that she could, maybe winning is gonna be tough, but do you think she could even get on the podium this year? Of course, with all the ladies who are gonna be in the 100 meter hurdles. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And be back again next time. Thanks.